Vaughan Shirach is the president of Global Policy Institute and he joins us now from Washington, D.C. Great to have you on the program. Welcome. How do you read Nancy Pelosi's decision and what impact could it have? Well, it's a symbolic gesture, but it's certainly the, the, the House is now in recess and she calls them back into session uh, to examine this issue. Uh, this is, uh, it's not quite clear what may come out of this, but, but certainly it will uh, focus the nation's attention on this potential problem. As we know, because of COVID, which in the United States is still certainly not under control, it is very likely that many Americans, millions of Americans, uh, may indeed opt to uh, vote in the upcoming November 3 elections by mail, something that is being done anyway, but not on this scale. If indeed it's true, which is not entirely proven, that uh, President Trump is trying to, in some fashion, to cut uh, the mail service, this way undermining uh, vote by mail, that is assumed to be favored by Democrats more than Republicans, that would appear like some kind of way to interfere with the elections. And that leads me to my next question very neatly, because Nancy Pelosi has uh, referred to Trump's decision as, quote, trying to sabotage the election by manipulating the postal service. How widespread is that view? Well, I mean, it is really odd that, uh, you know, first of all, a new uh, postmaster general was appointed, who is a businessman, a friend of Trump. And the first thing he has done is to cut service, you know, uh, as he uh, started his uh, in his official capacities. And again, cutting service means, uh, as your reporting indicated, that there's a likelihood that, that uh, with, given the extraordinary large amount of volume coming from mail-in votes, we talk about 80 million pieces of mail, that some of them may not come in by the deadline and may not be counted, in the perhaps a hidden hope that those are votes for Democrats. And therefore, this is a move that favors Trump. Again, this is something that we are really thinking about, and certainly many attorneys general in, the, in various states have sued the federal government. There's a lot going on right now. It's hard to understand exactly how this is going to play out. But the idea is uh, that we want a, a postal service uh, to function fully, you know, uh, and as best as it can in order to guarantee that all Americans who would like to can vote by mail and that their votes will be counted. So, And the, this gesture by uh, Speaker Pelosi is to, you know, have everybody focus their attention on this. Whether this will result in any kind of legislation, it's hard to say, because this would also have to be voted by the, by the Republicans who control the Senate and by President Trump himself. So it's not quite clear what this gesture will amount to, except for, you know, focusing everybody's attention on what may be a potentially uh, very complex and, uh, and uh, controversial issue. Paolo Von Schirach, great to get uh, your analysis on this complicated issue. We appreciate your time. Thank you.